G'day guys, Greg here. Well, today I'm doing a recipe sent in to me by Shazza and Jimbo. Now they reckon at the state and county fairs they sell this Italian sausage and peppers in a, served in a hot dog bun. It looks really good and pretty simple to make, so today I'm going to make it and well, let's find out what it's like. But first, let me show you the ingredients I'm using. So what they said is to use a couple of bell peppers, as we call them, capsicums. I'll need a garlic, some onion, some oregano, salt and pepper, a bread roll, or two, or ten, depending how many you're making, and a couple of Italian sausages. Now that can be sweet or spicy, or just plain old beef. <laughs> just grab yourself some sausages, and well, how about we start making this? Well first I need to cut up my ingredients into thin slices. So, by the magic of YouTube. That's done! Now there is one other thing I want to cut up, and that's this sausage. I actually just want to cut these in half. This will just make it cook nicer and, well, it'll just make them crisp up a, a little bit easier. Alright, well I got myself a nice deepish frying pan here that I'm using today. So, put some olive oil in. And we'll start cooking these sausages. Or what's left of them. <laughs> now my aim is to get these nice and crispy. All right, well once these sausages are brown, we'll take them out and we'll put those aside. And now we just add in the capsicums and peppers. Now I'm using a few different colors here just to make it look prettier. You can just use red ones if you want or whatever. And we add the onions in as well. And we just need to cook these until they're pretty much cooked. I might turn the heat down a bit. It should take about 8 minutes or so, 8 to 10. Now something else I wanted to add in was some chilli. Just to give it a little bit more extra spice. So I pre-cut one up here. Which I'll chuck in. Now I also want to add in some salt some pepper and a half teaspoon of oregano. Alright, well, this is looking nice now. So, what I'm going to do is add in the garlic. Just for the last few minutes. Now, something else I wanted to add in, just to help deglaze my frying pan a bit, is just a dash of red wine. Not sure how well it's going to deglaze. I think it might be too far gone. Anyway, we'll add the sausages back in. And we'll just cook this for a couple of minutes and then it'll be ready to serve up. Alright, well, that's done. So, how about we start throwing this together? So, got the bread roll here. Now, it's nice if you've got one of those really crisp. Bread rolls, that'd be awesome. And what would some bread be without some butter? We just better add some because you know how much butter adds flavor to absolutely everything. And now we grab the sausage, stick it in the bun. That's what she said. Grab our mix here. And there you have it. The State Fair Italian Sausage and Peppers. Oh man, that looks so good and I cannot wait to taste it. Wow. I think this will require two hands. Okay. Oh. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Oh. It's falling out everywhere, but this is really nice. And that chili I put in, oh mate, that's optional by the way. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. There's the state fair dog that I just made. What do you reckon about it? Looked pretty good, huh? And it tastes just as good, and it tastes really fresh as well. Using all these fresh ingredients really does make a big difference. Anyway, that's all today. Hope you like this video, and if you do make it, I'd love to know how yours turned out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for my next recipe. See you then. Oh yeah, this is great.